tailor-made defense techniques to prevent any future tragedies. The horrendous events of 9-11 have revealed just how easily airport security can be breached. When all other systems fail, our last line of defense is the flight crew. There is no reason to have another 9-11 incident. The solution to the problem is training. You give me flight attendants for 20 hours, and nobody's taking over that plane anymore. Warriors for Peace is an organization dedicated to providing tailor-made self-defense techniques to the airline industry. Warriors for Peace co-founders Vince Ciceri and Daniel Shriver have both been recently featured in television news stories. Since September 11th, aviation officials have focused their efforts on tightening up airline security, but many members of the flight crew, flight attendants, and pilots alike say too little has been done and they still feel vulnerable in the air. Now a new program aims to change that, making the skies a little bit safer. And I move. Yes. I hold. Vince Cesare is a third-degree black belt. As soon as he grabs, we're all of his side, same thing, bring him down, move. A jujitsu instructor. What I'm going to give you is a few techniques that work in a thousand different combat situations. September 11th really hit home for Daniel Shriver. He lost a friend in the World Trade Center attacks. Now he is hoping to instruct flight crews in a form of martial arts that he thinks will provide peace of mind for customers at airports all across the country. When I went to my friend's memorial, I made a pledge. I said, I know a martial art that could make a difference, and I'm going to make it my purpose and my mission to let as many people know about it as I can. A Temiru Jiu-Jitsu is the art of fending off an attack by quickly striking the weak points of an attacker's body. All it takes is a technique. No strength, no size. A very small woman of small stature could take down a very large man. A Temiru Jiu-Jitsu consists of several relatively simple techniques that appear to work in almost any situation in the group's demonstration. I want to go to the hand, to the pressure point on the top of the hand, to get a finger open. Then I want to We actually put the techniques to the test here in the News Channel 15 studios, and they appeared to be successful here as well. After spending a few minutes learning a technique from Shriver, our reporter Nicole Mansky, who has no martial arts training, was able to fend off a mock attack. Shriver's group is fighting hard.